Hello again. This is Choose My Game here for another Thomas Was Alone video. This is episode 2. When we last left off, we played from level 0 to level 1.5. And we're about to start 1.6, and we saw there was a third portal outline. So let's go and jump on in. John knew. He knew that this was his chance. A moment to shine. This was game day. So yeah, John's our new character. He's very tall. And in the news office, you get to see his real power. Um, so for this one, I this think... Uh, do. John needed room to show off his exceptional skills. As it was, he was trapped on the wrong side of these little dot things. Um, I think I'll do the come from, anyway? same thing for every video. Is I'll play 1.5 levels because the way the game is designed, there are nine stages, so that'll work out nice. Uh, so if we keep doing that. There will be six episodes of this, um, and that's all only if it works out like that. Uh, I recently, ah, uh, yes, John here we are. John inhaled the air of the open space, and it smelled of awesome. So John's power is it's really to tall, flex those muscles to and he put can his jump to use very high to show those little dots how it was done. John decided to press the switch to let the little dots catch up with him. John cared for his new allies. He's, uh... You could tell from the sympathetic expression he'd practiced in the mirror all these years. I like to think of John as acting like a big brother to Thomas and Chris. Just the way he acts with them and how his personality is portrayed through the narration. Uh, well done. Uh, so, yeah, uh, that's, uh, that's one of the people in the group, for those of you watching that aren't in the group. Um, go ahead and check out his channel. It's, uh, it's Thy Royal Hot Dog. That's the name of the channel. And, as you guys can tell, he's quite sexy. Uh, so yeah, check out his channel. Uh, but yeah, we're, uh, if all goes to plan, we'll do 1.5 levels uh, every episode. So that'll get us six episodes. So... Hopefully, that'll be good enough time for you guys to decide what I should play next. Um, uh, unless you guys want me to do multiple Let's Plays at a time. So, I mean, this is all, this channel's all for the viewers. So, whatever you guys want, I'll do. Um, just let me know. John was happy to keep helping. He felt it was important to his image that he was seen to help the little guys. So yeah, he's he's kind of a little bit egotistical, and he kind of doesn't know it, but he's still a lot nicer than Chris, as many of you can tell. Hopefully. Because if you can't tell, um... Uh, might have to break some bad news to you. Not sure where I was going with that. Um, if I might. Um. So yeah. Let me know what I should play next. If you guys haven't seen, I posted all the games I can play 
on my main channel page feed for you guys to pick and choose from. There's quite a few games there. Uh, hopefully there's enough selection. Oh, glitched that jump. Hopefully there's enough selection for you guys to where you can pick what kind of games you want. Uh, so like I've got uh, indie games, shooter games, puzzle games, basically every type of game except sports games. Can't stand sports games. Anybody here with me on that? Sports games are stupid. Uh, sure, I sure hope I'm not the only one. Because I don't really see the point in sports game. Why play a video game of a sport when you could go outside and do it for real? Unless you've got Ohio weather like me and it's cold nine months out of the year, so you can't do much. Uh, yeah, that kind of sucks. so much either. The red one, Thomas, had a charming way of applauding every time John jumped. Losing seems to talk about... What should I talk about? Um... Uh, what should I call you guys? My fans. Because I know there's like the PewDiePie bros. Uh, there's the, uh... Chilladins for Shield Chaos, but, um, should I just call you guys the gamers? I mean, for those of you who have super creative names, uh, minds that work like that, uh, if you wanna come up with a name, you can either PM me or, uh, post in the comments. Uh, we'll have a little contest. The angry uh, orange one whoever, uh, less immediately likable, but his whoever gets the most popular name John. can have that name, and I'll use it forever. Um, ooh, another thing. Uh, recently, uh, I don't know if you guys know of the Humble Indie Bundle service. But I recently got one of their Humble Indie Weekly deals, and it was all games from Tripwire Studios. Uh, that was uh, Red Orchestra, Red Orchestra 2, and Killing Floor. Um, I, I bet most of you have heard of Killing Floor. I'm not sure about the other two games. But with those games came, uh, I think, three passes for each game so um if you guys we can make a little contest out of it um and I, okay first gotta be subscribed second you uh let's see what, what else can you do um second you have to like the video and third tell me what your favorite game is and then tell me which of the demos you want it's like a couple of days demo for red orchestra one or not Re i'm not sure if it's the first one but um it's red orchestra off front uh red orchestra two uh the heroes of stalingrad and killing floor uh, i believe there's three for each thing so subscribe like the video uh tell me your favorite game ever and tell me uh which which of the demos you want and the first people for each game will get one just friend me on steam and i will gift it to you so, this was interesting. A floating I am finding this it interesting that I'm already doing giveaways. Balance and timing. This interesting. John to me. was sure the dots would be lost. Is anybody else? He was happy to guide them to try. Interested. 
because, I mean, this is only my second video. I feel like I'm going in too strong. Let me know if you guys agree. Maybe that's what the dots were for. They were there to extend John's reach, to make his performance even more impressive. John liked the thought. He decided to keep them. Oh, there's a... There's a little example of John's ego. Uh, ooh, okay, here is one of my favorite characters. It's just so awkwardly hilarious. So, I'm just gonna be quiet was here. How Claire would die. She knew it would happen eventually. She was rubbish at jumping, and she moved slowly. She felt a little like her continued existence was breaking some kind of natural order. The crumbling pillar was a dramatic death, she supposed. Wait, what? Claire couldn't shake the feeling that she was not, in fact, dead. It was at that moment that Claire realized she had superpowers. So yeah, that's Claire. She uh, she can float uh, in the acid. Uh, She'd need a cape. There was no getting around that. You couldn't be a superhero without a cape. Claire didn't want confusion. She's you saw pretty a cape, awkward. That made matters clear. You knew what you were dealing with. Claire was all about communication. Awkward and very funny. And, you know, floating in water, which was her superpower. All right, fear not, my skinny friends, for I am Claire, and I will save you. Claire needed to come up with a superhero name as soon as possible. Claire was rubbish. If I go quiet, that's probably because I know there's a funny line coming up or something. But, um... I mean, Claire... What do you guys think of Claire? She's probably one of my favorite characters. Um... Just because she's so unique. Uh, she's very relatable to, at least for me. Uh, Claire arrived just in time, but, which was, of course, the yeah. perfect moment for superheroes to arrive. So, we're up to four characters now. And it's going to get quite... It's going to be considerably more difficult from here on out. As the water began to rise, Claire vowed to save this little rectangle in as many restarts as it took. I just love that line. As many restarts as it takes. The thing is, um, if you guys didn't notice, these, uh, these quadrilaterals are actually AI. There's their lines of code. like that. The sole hero in a world of rectangles and conveniently placed pools of toxic water. Uh, they know they're AI. So, they'll make little AI jokes. Like, as many restarts as it takes. Okay, we got three in here. This is where I start to get annoyed with the numbers. The others told Claire that I mean, staircases were a bit of a fixture here. Claire wondered why the world made it so difficult. Oh, okay. Um, so this is where I get frustrated a little bit. The numbers. I mean, I I know it's only what three, but. I mean, this is just a taste of what's to come, and I've already 
started mixing up the numbers. So, good signs. Good signs. So, again, like my last video, uh, sorry for being so quiet. I know I don't really have to apologize for it, but I don't like... I, I just feel awkward speaking to people, especially over the internet, and knowing I'm not saying much, and then having them silently be entertained. It's just kind of an awkward thought for me to know that I'm silently entertaining people. Um, if that makes any sense at all. Claire probably needed a nemesis. A villain who would show their true colors at the worst possible moment, hurting all she held dear. Chris was the most obvious choice. He seemed stroppy enough and... His jump was so pathetic that it conveniently avoided Claire's insecurities. Yes, Chris. Diabolical Chris. The fiendish Christopher. So, Chris is now her nemesis. Uh, let's get them on the board. I might have to cut this video a little short. Already breaking set goal so if I cut it short I'll be sure to make a longer video that will catch up to the goal uh, next time but my quiet time might be coming to a close sooner than I thought I could finish I thought, meaning I thought I could finish faster than the quiet time would be interrupted. Because my siblings will be returning from school in a few minutes. Uh, I get like an hour of quiet time to do homework and stuff uh, before they get home, so took these last, uh, what, 20, 20, 15, 20 minutes to, Where had Chris gone? Was he to record this. Plotting Claire's downfall? Claire was honest, and she had to be because she was a superhero. This was a troubling turn of events. Still, there were reasonably sized bodies of water to cross. So, yeah, I might have to end this very soon. Um, if I do end it soon, I apologize. It's just, don't want to ruin this recording and have to restart. But, uh, we'll see what happens. Over water, eh? Claire's newly heightened senses told her that there were multiple paths across with various possible configurations of the little posse. So, John, they were doing really well. 
Claire hoped she could get them all across. John was fully aware he could do this alone. Thomas hoped he'd never have to. Oh, Thomas. Thomas is a little sensitive, little red rectangle. across okay uh, and then let's get clear across and let's see this is what two eight two nine might be able to make it yeah okay no this is two nine okay this is clear on this so this should be Fast. Claire was alone, which was odd, because she wasn't meant to be alone. She needed to be where there were rectangles to save. Yes, we did, Claire. Being the only superhero in a given space kind of defeats the object. Spikes? That was new. Claire avoided them. She decided they were most likely her kryptonite. Not the rubbish red kryptonite either, the proper radioactive green stuff. Um, so this will be the level I finish off on. Hopefully. Wow. Deja vu. Might the have to. The was repeating. And this time it was a here. little bit short. Claire I hope not. I am. There was a disturbance in the brushing with the edge of non quiet Something time had altered the matrix the, the matrix. world was reacting to their progress it was amassing its forces mm. it was plotting against them you can Claire finally had a nemesis all right and you go over here and you go there and you go there and you jump down and Claire Right here, clear. You jump down, and you go there, and you go there. All right, guys. So I successfully did this. Oh, and we're going to have another new character when we come back. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, like, subscribe, comment what I should do next, what you liked, what you think I could work on. Um, again, thank you for watching. And I will see you, talk to you, next video. Uh, game with you later.